I thought that I could use my internet experience and put, give them a different option, which is to use website to go directly to their fans and have the fans help um, pay for basically the band to have the means of production. Because before, um, it was always the band would get a advance from the record label for the next album. They would take the advance, they would go and produce the album, they would spend all the money on producing on the, the album. Pro producing the album, and then the, uh, the album would usually not recoup the advance, so you wouldn't see any f future money coming from that. And that would be the end of the story. She gathered us around at a table, put a laptop there, and said, oh, "This is what." It, because we were all kind of a internet novice, we, we didn't really know much about how this all works. So she showed us this is what it looks like, and that what we could do, and then we could do this and that. And then everybody was skeptical, but because it seemed rather a, a better option than going out at that point historically, where you could see. Record sales are getting worse and worse. You wouldn't get these kind of advances from a record company anymore. We can't even pay the uh, production costs from what we could possibly get from a company. So, uh, so we didn't really have any other options than trying something different. The thousand was, I think, the point where we could say that we, we safely can make a record somehow. And, and, and you thought. <laughs> I thought it ended up to be more expensive, but, so, so, but that the yeah. thought was still correct. Um, so, so, I mean, I arrived at the thousand people break-even point by asking him, what would you expect to get as an advance from the record label? Yeah. And he gave, he gave me an amount, which was 35,000. And I said, okay, how about we try to get a thousand people to each put in $35? We decided to not actually do any normal marketing, and I think we hit the thousand or so about in about four months. And the the deal was that um, we made it clear that they were paying not to just get something in return, but that they were really supporting the band through their contributions. I think there were like two two particular sides to uh, to um, the um, basic idea. One was to take what is uh, known since the beginning of book printing to do a, a kind of a um, subscription to a book that will come out in the future. And the other side of it is that we are able to communicate with those supporters uh, in, uh, through a, a lot of different channels and ways uh, in technology that was not really possible before. First was an album, the second one ended up to be an album and a DVD because we, in the same period we started producing other things and, uh, and the third one got relatively complex as there was an, an album for the supporters. There was second one only got an album for the supporters, never, never, and never went to shops or anything. Uh, this, and the third one ended up being an album for the supporters and a much smaller version for the public and a DVD for the supporters only and a monthly track that they could download. Und der Blick, der ist am feinsten Über Wolken und die Stadt In Agorni Karaba Nagorni Karaba